We're talking Q Sports. We're here at Marseille in Pukekohe. The Dutch master, Marco Teuscher, with me once again. Today, we're going to take the guesswork out when it comes to aiming from the cue ball through to the object ball. Okay, so Marco, I'll get you to just take us through a really simple shot yeah. in terms of just for the beginner here, yeah. what you should be focusing on in a shot that probably most people should be able to make. Yeah. So like when the shot is like pretty much like straight like how it is right now, you're pretty much like aiming on the on the thickest part of the of the black one. So you don't want to hit it off, you don't want to hit it there because you pretty much like take it in a straight line of the white ball and the ball that you're gonna make. So this is in one straight line right now, so you have to hit it like exactly here. So you don't want to hit it there, you won't want to hit it there. It's like pretty much like straight forward. So try to hit the thickest part of the of the black ball and then push through the cue ball. Okay, Marco, now things start to get a little bit more difficult. Yep. Uh, we've all sort of studied math at school. Yep. Geometry now starts to come into play and we're yep. playing things on more of an angle. Mm. So how does that change the way you line the cue ball up yep. with the object ball? So what you want exactly is like you want um, you want the white ball to replace um, the black ball that you're gonna hit. So like pretty much like the the, sick, the uh, black one and the green one in a straight line to the pocket. And what you want right now is the, you want from this line or even if the white ball's here, you want to replace this ball. So you're just aiming on that part. So the easiest way is getting the, the center of that black ball that we had. So you go a chalk distance from the green one. You take that line, take that line, keep your cue in a straight line above the white ball. And this is the line that the white ball has to take right now. So if I follow this line with the white ball, the green ball will go straight in the side of the pocket. So what you're saying, Marco, is really the thing that you need to identify yeah. is almost that key point behind the object ball that you need to be targeting, almost a pivot point. Exactly, yeah. So like a lot of people, like when they like start doing the aiming, it's like keeping the cue in a straight line. So I would say a chalk distance from the green, so you don't want to be like too close because then you don't be that accurate. So you go chalk distance from the green, keep that line, take the cue in a straight line to the white ball, and this is the point that the, this is the line that the white ball have to take right now. So if the white ball takes this line, you will make the six ball. So Marco, if I've got you correct, I would look at this green ball here. Yeah. I would line that up directly. Yeah. A chalk, a chalk distance from a the chalk cue. distance from the cue. Yeah. And then I would. So you're gonna go chalk distance from the ball. So you're gonna go a little bit farther back. And now you keep that cue. And now you take it in a straight line on the white ball. So that means like you have to move Just it. Bring it back to my left slightly. Yeah. And no. that's exactly. Exactly. So you want that to be exactly in a straight line of the white ball. And this is the this is the line that the white ball has to take right now. So you have to remove your cue and focus on that point on the green. So it's just a compass point, basically. Exactly, yeah. Just bringing it either left yeah. or right to line it up with the white. Yeah, that's, that's correct. That's pretty simple. Boy, that takes a lot of guesswork out, doesn't it? Why didn't somebody tell me about that when I was five? Yeah. I've had a lot of fight with my brothers losing pole. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. That's a good one. 